Okay, what we've got here is the Celestron off-axis guider, and I've already unboxed it, and I'm just laid out all the pieces that come with it, and it comes with eight different parts. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the puzzle here is that you <laughs> want to figure out what combination of parts actually works with your camera. And what I notice is I need four out of the eight pieces. Um, here's the off-axis guider, of course, and I need this piece to plug into this. This is the part that's going to uh, plug into my T-ring of my DSLR camera. So I'm going to put that on there like that. I'm going to tighten that up just like that. And that's the back of the off-axis guider. Now the front of it, this is the part that I notice will actually screw into my T-adapter of the telescope. And I'm going to attach it to the front of the off-axis guider. Loosen that up, all right. So now, once that's on there, you want to tighten up those rings. L let me tell you, this thing is very, very heavy. And that's mainly out of... Well, let's see, I've got one... Yeah, I've used three of the eight pieces so far. I need one more. This is actually the part that will help me connect my off-axis guider to my T-ring. So I need to... Well, do I need this? Let me think. Well, here's my T-ring. Let's see if it screws on to that. Maybe I don't need this. This might be just extra spacing, because this, this is my T-ring that would go into my DSLR camera. And here's my camera, so let's see. Okay, so that's my camera, so maybe I was wrong. I, maybe if I can achieve focus, I don't need that. So that's the off-axis guider connected to my DSLR. This is the part that would go into the rear of the telescope connected to my T adapter. I've already made sure that fits. And this is where your um, your auto guider would go. I've got the star shoot. It will fit right into there. These are the thumb screws. You can tighten it and you can try and achieve focus with it using this. So anyway, that's how that looks. And let me tell you one more thing. It's heavy, so you're going to be adding on a lot of weight to the rear of your telescope. Okay, hope that helped. Thanks, bye.